What's up, Trade Hackers? Happy Thursday, January 9th. Another day, another March higher in stocks. Looking at the SPX, ES was up about 15 and a half points. Market just closed a little bit ago, about 15 minutes ago. SPX weekly expected move. We are right at that upper end. If you remember, I was talking about we have not closed outside the expected move in over 20 some, I can't remember exactly, 26 weeks maybe. We had times when it went out and then, but it came back and closed back inside. We are right here at the top now. So do we close outside or do we reverse back down into the, within the expected move? Well, you will see tomorrow one more trading day. So what did we do today? A couple of adjustments, uh, one in Nat Gas, rolled a position in QQQ, and then we made some closing trades, one of, or excuse me, one closing trade in Shopify. So we booked a small profit on one of our Shopify iron ducks. We've also got a reverse iron duck in Shopify, and price is continuing higher in Shopify here. Let me get this chart, there we go. Continues higher, so we're, we're actually right on the break-even point of our of our reverse iron duck, so right in this area here. And so if it just reverses a little bit, we'll hit that duck right in the head for max profit. If it goes higher, we may have to bail out and take a little loss on that one. So we'll see what happens tomorrow in Shopify. Some of the others, Roku, we've got a an iron duck on. This one expires tomorrow. So assuming price stays right here, in this range here, we'll collect max profit on that one. So nice trade there. And then another one that expires tomorrow is RUT. So we've got this weekly double calendar on. Price is hanging out right here. And so as long as price stays in this big wide range here, we'll book a profit hopefully more towards the middle than not. Uh, but we'll see what happens in RUT. And then SPX, we've also got an iron duck. On this one, prices obviously run higher. And so there's very little chance of getting back to our max profit area. And so we tried to just bail on this one and get out for more than beak profit. Didn't get filled. So we're just going to go ahead and let this one expire. Remember, SPX is a European style option. So you don't have to worry about assignment or anything like that. So we'll just let this one expire and book that beak profit. So small, smaller profits when, it, when that happens, when we get this uh, massive grind higher, but still profitable nonetheless. Uh, what else is going on here? A couple things I wanted to point out. One is we talked about Beyond Meat. You know, their competitor, Impossible, came out and said that they were going to uh, come out with a fake pork product, and that allowed Beyond Meat to shoot up. And then it took a little breather yesterday, but now up another 10% today. So Beyond Meat is on the move. So you can see it was, uh, like I said, up two days ago. Took a breather yesterday and now back to the upside. So part of it, it, that's not just due to the announcement of the whole pork thing. It actually has to do with the fact that Impossible, which is still a privately held company, they, they can't keep up with the demand. They can't keep up with the production that would be needed to go into like a McDonald's or some of these other massive chains. And so it looks like Beyond Meat is going to benefit from that. And so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're we're going to look to potentially throw on a, a reverse iron duck or, or some type of strategy in this tomorrow. We'll see where prices end up. But big mover there. Tesla's, even with the market up today, Tesla is taking a little bit of a breather. So Tesla down a couple percent. You can see it's been on this massive run uh, today, just down a little bit. So taking a little bit of a breather. If we get a little bit further pullback, I would be a buyer here uh, to see if we can get some continuation to the upside. And so that's what's going on in Tesla. And let's see, Snapchat up 4%. Don't trade that too much just because it's such a low price stock, but up over 4% nonetheless. And that's down off the highs. It was up almost to 18 bucks, uh, but it's, it's come back a little bit now. Let's see, RH up a few percent. Let's see if there's anything else we really care about here that I want to mention. I don't think so. Everything else pretty muted under a percent or so. Alibaba's up almost 2%. AMD up a little over 2%. Apple's up over 2%. Remember, we've got some of those bank stock earnings next week, so hopefully that'll create a little bit of volatility. Everybody have a great weekend. I will be sending out the weekly update of our, all our current positions to pro members tomorrow, so that only goes to pro members, but we'll see everybody else in the community and talk to you next week. Have a great one.